If you could leave your car at home and take a train to work, would you? If you could walk up to a bus stop knowing that a bus would come in five minutes or less, would you consider taking the bus to work? If there was rapid transit on Woodward, would you take it to get to a concert downtown? I'm Mary Blackman, Chair of the Southeast Michigan Council of Governments. And if you answered yes to these questions, you need to hear about the important work going on in Southeast Michigan to make all of this a reality. Most people have access to a car. This is, after all, the Motor City. The last census indicated that nearly 85% of us drive to work alone. The result? More traffic and congestion. Perhaps it's time to rethink how we travel in response to changing economic, environmental, and demographic conditions. The Detroit region was built on cheap gasoline and large single occupancy automobiles. But times are changing with high gasoline prices and our auto industry being challenged. Environmental concerns are on the front page and we are losing our young people in part because of lack of effective rapid transit. Mass transportation is becoming increasingly important to the public with national statistics posting the highest ridership in 50 years. This interest is shown by the popularity of van pooling and car pooling and the all-time high ridership on our bus system. Even bicycling is growing in popularity for recreation and also for commuting. We're at a crossroads in this global economy and we need to be able to compete for jobs, for workers, and for customers. Our region must be accessible to all. We must protect our environment and all the assets that make this region attractive, and we must attract the young. Improving transit has been a nice-to-have goal for many years. There now seems to be a new spirit and an increased sense of urgency. Now is the time to improve transit and add the regional rail and light rail service that this region lacks but which it certainly deserves. SimCog and its partners are excited to tell you about the progress that's been made, where we go from here, and what you can do to help. So get on board with SimCog now. SimCog's transportation plan for the region includes a vision for needed transit improvements. Improvements that, if implemented, improve public transit and the overall ability of this region to move people and goods. SEMCOG's vision calls for rapid transit on 12 corridors, improving the current bus system as that is needed to feed into the rapid transit service, and ensuring that some kind of transit connects the region. SEMCOG has studied the challenges involved in implementing this plan. We are committed to doing our part, technical work, education, and advocacy. No one agency or individual is in charge of transit in Southeast Michigan. That's why we have many partners. Rest assured, we are making progress. I'm pleased to tell you that a detailed transit service plan has been developed by the Regional Transit Coordinating Council. The Detroit Regional Mass Transit Plan details the next steps in improving transit in the region. Commuter rail, light rail, rapid transit bus service, arterial rapid transit, along with many improvements to the current bus service. SMART continues to see record ridership. Average daily ridership in September was 50,000, a 30% increase over August, and will surpass 12 million passengers in 2008. We haven't seen ridership like this since the early 1980s. Routes along Gratiot and Woodward now have expanded service with more frequency to accommodate standing loads. Improved bus service is an important component of an enhanced transit system, getting riders from communities to the rapid transit lines. If you haven't ridden a bus lately, get on board with us. DDOT daily ridership is up by 22,000 people and carried 3.65 million passengers in May 2008. The increased ridership has caused DDOT to add new express service on their most popular routes that begin at Northland. The Ann Arbor Transit Authority reports continued growth in weekday ridership. In August, AATA reallocated existing service to increase frequency and reliability in corridors with growing demand. 
there are visible improvements in reliability and frequency of service. Both important factors in choosing transit over drive alone commute. More and more people are using the region's bus system. Enhancing the system with rapid transit would make this a viable option to many more. The bus is the cheapest way to travel. It saves me money on gas, it's good for the environment, and it eases the stress of the workday commute. We're well on our way with rail service from Ann Arbor to Detroit, and it could start as soon as 2010. It makes use of existing rail lines and it will be operated by Amtrak. It will serve both commuters and those seeking recreational opportunities in one of the 10 communities along this line. Have dinner in Ann Arbor, stop by the Henry Ford, or go to a Red Wing game, or visit the DIA. Woodward is one of the region's most important corridors. Transit improvements here are moving forward. Using private funds, a 3.4 mile light rail system is being developed from the river to New Center. This service will enhance the developing creative corridor and will provide the downtown connection for the Ann Arbor to Detroit service. Detailed planning is also underway for a second phase of light rail service that would extend the Woodward Line to 11 Mile Road. Phase two will require federal funding plus matching funds. Also in the works is a proposed 27 mile rail service link between Ann Arbor and Howell. This rail line will primarily service commuters along the US 23 corridor and will act to reduce congestion along that roadway. Improving mobility and reducing air pollution make this rail service particularly beneficial to our region. Washtenaw County residents are excited about the implementation of this service. We've spent time talking about why transit is important now. We've talked about the exciting progress being made. Now we encourage you to get on board and show your support. Getting on board means many things, like riding the new or improved transit service. It also means supporting increased funding. The Detroit region has to face the facts and embrace rapid transit. In Denver, residents voted to increase taxes. In Utah, it took the voters to election, but they approved a sales tax to design, construct, and operate light rail and commuter rail. Those efforts have led to federal funding. Now is the time for rapid transit in the Detroit region. A comprehensive regional transit system, like we've described here, requires a strong authority to be in charge. That authority must have the ability to plan, coordinate, and operate service. It must have the ability to raise the operating funds that keep the system running. Your help to make this vision a reality is really essential. How can you help? We know that improved transit alternatives create a strong economy and a better quality of life. This is documented both nationally and globally. Please support the efforts in our region to move us forward toward a better, more competitive transit system. Take action and tell our leadership that we want choices in transportation and that you support the funding of improved transit. We were a leader in transit alternatives once and we can be again with your help. We need everyone's help. While no one person or agency can move this forward, with a common vision and goal, improved transit in Southeast Michigan can become a reality. Come on, get on board with us. <laughs>